the issue that I had with the career or the industry that I wanted to get into, there weren't many people that were similar to me. So when I entered the industry in the early 90s, the industry was r run predominantly, bar one, by white middle class men. And that in itself brings unconscious or conscious bias to an industry. So I would acknowledge the situation I was in, but not let it limit me because I had a different background, a different upbringing to those individuals running the industry at the time. But my difference allowed uniqueness and it was about knowing what my own personal brand is. So I am very good at hearing the whispers in the noise. So making sure that I find that insight, that nugget of insight that's going to make a difference. Being able to talk to lots of people from different backgrounds to myself. Um, so whether that's you know somebody that's grown up in Coventry in a working class background or somebody that's running a FTSE 100 company. Being able to flex your communication style, I was comfortable with doing. So acknowledging that there may be conscious or unconscious bias, but not letting it limit me because my difference I should celebrate. And that's something that's just been instilled in me from a very young age by my parents and my family and the people around me. Good, so good parenting is absolutely it's essential. You need, everybody needs a cheerleader and yeah. I had brilliant cheerleaders in my family. I mean, my mum and dad had no idea what advertising was and what the industry was and whether or not you could even have a career in it. And like any parent, they wanted me to have a safe career. Mm. Um, so there'd be, you know, they wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor or a solicitor or an accountant mm. because that was a, a profession that was seen as very high standing back in Barbados. Um, but Barbados is an island of about 270,000 people and probably about 200,000 lawyers. So, mm. and it just wasn't a path for me. Um, but, you know, they supported and encouraged and I was resilient. I was really resilient. And some yeah. of that comes through sport from having done a lot of sport okay. when I was younger, um, learning about success and failure and being able to pick yourself up and carry on.